Hi everyone, I'm Sar from Boltport. I wanted to quickly show you something that I use in order to make my boards a bit um, look better when I solder them and before I take pictures of them. Um, most of my boards have kind of a uh, some some sort of uh, exterior that I want to show, and I don't want the solder connections to look bad when I take photos but I also don't want them to be sharp or anything to stick out. So what I do is um, I cut the leads um, or the pins very close to the surface of the board and then I create these domes that are smooth and nice, they look good and um, they're comfortable to touch. This is another example, uh, this is a kit that Tom Hartley sent me and again uh, these would otherwise be pretty sharp uh, on the on the back side but I make these these domes that make it comfortable to touch uh, another example this is the cuttlefish board that I designed for Embicosm and again you have these domes here and here it just looks better um, this is a board that I made for uh, the Center for Computing History and I'm going to show you how I do these uh, on this board. Fairly simple. So I'll put in the resistors, the components in, and make sure that they're centered. And then I'll just wrap them around to really keep them in place. So you have something like that. And. There you go. So now they're they're in place. Not going to move much, and I'll solder them. This doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be a lot, uh, you just want to make a good connection. And lift these up, back up. Now, what you need is, uh, is cutter, or cutters that can cut flush with the board. You see, um, this has a flat surface where it cuts. It won't work with uh, regular cutters that uh, sort of taper inwards and that's usually what what's lying around. I got these for about six pounds at Maplin and they work quite well. So I'll cut the the leads and the existing solder, solder blob carefully away from the board. Um, I want to get as close as possible to the board, but I don't want to damage the the silk the the solder mask, which can happen quite easily. So you want to do it very carefully. And take away all the bits of um, of the lead that might poke out. There you go. Then you just retouch the solder joint. And this is good enough, but sometimes it doesn't come out very well. Um, there might not be enough solder there, or there might be too much and you just want to want to fix it so you can take away some solder you can cut it again and um, and then if I want a nice round dome I'll just add a bit of solder there This is this is a nice 
nice and round. You see the kind of the burnt flux is there still. So I'll use this this flux off to just scrape it off or dissolve it rather. And you get a nice a nice shine clean connection. And there you go. Nice round. Not sharp. Easy to touch. Looks good in a photo. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And let me know what you think. Bye.